starting in 5 seconds sir mal practices in elections are a problem and the problem is getting aggravated day by day all the political parties the various governments in power in various states and a newspaper all of them are contributing to the deterioration in standards in the conduct of elections it is very unfortunate that all the political parties are inducting caste and communal politics into election nowhere else and never the election result is decided on the basis of caste and never a particular caste votes to only for a candidate from that particular caste the high commands of all the political parties while announcing their list of candidates for the various elections say that they have given so many seats to brahmins so many to thakurs and so many to jats the system is getting on like that all the political parties are contributing to this and candidates are filled on the basis of caste sir we are aware since representative elections have been introduced in this country the elections results are never decided by non caste line and non communal lines when it is decided by such an emotional issue and not on the basis of the problem facing the country how can we attribute caste for the result during 1952 when elections took place in the composite madras state there was a representation at that time against the communist party the undivided communist party went underground and thousands of communist workers had been arrested they went to the court during 1952 again the communist party gained the public sympathy and thereby most of the congress people were defeated at the polls and the communist party with the help of praja party as well as other parties was to come into power but for the trick played by the then governor of madras and shri c raja gopalachari was inducted to the upper house and he was nominated as the leader of the congress party in the legislature he became the chief minister then during 1955 election took place in separate andhra the people felt that the communist party was arrogant and they wanted to teach a lesson to them so during 1955 elections the communist party was defeated at the polls and the congress again came into power again during 1967 when elections took place the congress party was defeated here whoever it is whatever party is anybody with some criminal record or who is under trial in a court of law 
or is convicted by a court of law or whatever it is that person may be debarred from entering any party and all the parties should make it a point not to award any membership to such persons but unfortunately the political parties are encouraging criminal elements and at the same time several youth organizations which are there in every district in every town also draw inspiration from elders in the criminalization of politics i would like to add another thing with regard to the press and the media unfortunately in every election the press goes on analyzing for one month or one month and 15 days this time the elections were announced about 3 months ahead of schedule but all these 3 months all the newspapers gave analysis stating there that are seven assembly segments in the parliamentary constituency and in all the seven assembly segments female voters are more than the male voters and agricultural laborers are more than the agric agriculturist in the last elections in this constituency so and so won the elections but he was defeated in 1971 and again such and such parties took part in the elections in 1977 so many people contested against each other and ultimately that fell upon but in their enthusiasm the newspapers and the media they are going a little bit further in analyzing that in this assembly segment the number of harijan voters in search the number of ready voters is search and the number of kama voters or naidu voters is search like that they are going to analyze the facts and the position of the votes in that particular segment that is giving rise to so much communal tension and caste tension slowly they are influencing the minds of political workers saying unless you go on the lines of caste it is not desirable for the efficient functioning of democracy this is very dangerous for the unity of the country now i would like to appeal to the media as well as my journalist friends to see that such thing is avoided such reporting is avoided such analysis in the press during electioneering is avoided on caste lines and communal lines unless it is done i am very much afraid that we are heading from bad to worse as far as money power is concerned sir every member of parliament every member of a legislature starts his career by a false declaration stop